with so many freshmen you've leaned on, obviously they got a ton of experience, but how do you explain the postseason to them how it's different? Mm, I think we've been in a lot of big moments, you know, here on, on with the Florida game. And, you know, so you're like, oh, this is what it's like, you know, playing at home pretty awesome with uh, your fans and they show out every weekend. So it's not any different in the sense of what the environment's going to be like. It's just the fact of, you know, we have two games left or as many as we want to play. So it's survive in advance. So, um, you know, I think that's the mindset. But then again, a pitch is a pitch is a pitch. So they've been great. Do what you do all season. Um, really, really cool that we've got this opportunity at home. Exiting a very lengthy road trip with Syracuse and an ACC. What did you kind of tell your team about, you know, repositioning, getting ready for postseason? Um, what did we talk about? Just uh, enjoying the moment, um, your book of work rely on it you know this season um, we've had some really big highs we've had some lows um, we've gotten to know each other I think a 10-day road trip is a good time to get to know each other we spent some good team time together you know and sometimes that's hard to do during the season when so much is going on so being able to go to Niagara Falls together and, and do some things that just is separate than softball I think is a, a good chance to to really bond as a team and that was pretty fun so but this is what you work towards all season long, and you know, like we gotta let the chips fall where they fall. So hopefully, we can have some fun with that. What stands out to you about Chattanooga? It's scrappy. Uh, I think uh, you know when you're coming from a double elimination tournament, and you gotta do anything it takes to win. Uh, I think the scrappiness is, is big for them, and um, I think they're they got a good little pitcher. You know, gets after a good curveball. Um, got some table setters and some swings. So I think they're going to come in here. They have nothing to lose. They're going to have a lot of fun and they're a good ball club. Does it benefit you that you have a lot of familiarity with Auburn and UCF? They're two that you've seen here quite a few times over recent years. Um, yeah, definitely. I think the familiarity, but you know, at this time of year, you got to play your softball and you got to be really good with your softball and have yourself prepared. So, um, you know, I think you're coming in with a lot of senior, heavy senior classes coming in. Um, you got some really good pitching coming in. It's going to be a tough tournament in that sense. Always has been a tough tournament in the pitching side here. Um, so, you know, I think one pitch mindset is something that we've been preaching all season long, and that's going to be big for us. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we get a one SEC team a year, and they're really good. And I think UCF's really good this year, too. I think they're pretty excited, you know. They were kind of on the bubble a little bit, played a good schedule this year. So um, they are definitely ready to go. And, uh, yeah, Sarah Willis is going to be fun. You all, you often say freshmen kind of aren't freshmen anymore this time of year. Kaylee, Kaylee said similar when we were talking to her just yeah. a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. Is that especially true this year with the number of freshmen and how much you've kind of had to play them or, or have played them? Yeah, you know, the freshmen aren't freshmen in the sense that now we've been through it, but they haven't been through this. So <laughs> I think this is still new to them. I, hopefully it's fun for them. They don't put a lot of pressure on themselves. Uh, I think the big thing when you end your freshman year and you go home for the summer, you're like, whoa, that was a lot because they've been going since September. So I don't know that they would know what a full season is like until they get home and they just kind of sit down on the couch and be like, wow, like what did I just go through? And then you take those experiences and build for the next year. So I think that I'm um, super excited for them to be able to have this opportunity at home and to be here in front of their fans and their family. And, um, you know, I just don't think that there's quit in them. You know, they're really excited about I've got one of four years, and this is one of four years in postseason. I want to be the best I can be. And to know that your freshmen are prepped to be able to have that mindset, pretty exciting. Anything else?